Let me find it. Let me give everybody a chance to move over. Sorry, we had to divide this up. Let's see. I think this was our frame. Let me find the new one. Doesn't help that I used the same. Oh, part two. There we are. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, guys. I'm back. Hopefully, it'll stay this way. Let's get this done before uh, my world crashes down. What do you think? Everybody else getting in? Now I've lost a pen. Here it is. <laughs> there we go. I didn't give you time to smoke, Carlito. That's good. Showing you. No, smoking is bad. All right. So I'm just going to continue to fill in my space here till I get a nice big bouquet of whatever this ends up being. I think I'm going to have to... Um... Hi, thanks for coming over from Facebook. I'm so, I'm so sorry that that did not work out. I need to... Um... Check and see if that's going to be a normal thing. I don't know. It's it's hard for me to know if it's my internet, which has been giving me problems, or if it's uh, some other issue. So I'm going to try to get this sorted out. Tomorrow is Wednesday. I was planning a live stream for tomorrow. I probably will. And, uh, yeah. Pepper, Pepper Jacks, Jackie says uh, she loves poke root and leaf and her college notes are filled with them as they should be. As they should be. Okay, not sure what we're doing here. Like that, I think. And an orb. Well, I paid for it is the problem, uh, Christiana. I paid for StreamYards and, um, or StreamYard, and um, so that I could uh, not have their stuff up on the screen, among other things, and do the multiple um, Facebook streaming too. And so I just need to find out whether it's the problem with the program, if the problem is with my internet because of the weather, um, which could explain why I could not get this video to upload. So, I will be looking into that when we get finished. Okay, this is kind of fun. I think it needs something else. Get a refund. Don't you worry, I will. Um... So this is not good. I've got all these things going the same direction here. And um, if that's what I wanted, let's look at this again. I can add in orbs. And then of course we're going to round and add line weight all the way around the edge. Let me, um, I'm using a Renaissance tile, um, a Renaissance Phi tile. <laughs> Kimberly says they're watching me in more ways than one. That's a little scary. Dun, dun, dun. 
So maybe if I draw in some behind here and add some orbs. Okay. What if I put in one small poke leaf? And let's see, that looks a little lonely, so I might need to put, okay, don't get crazy, Cindy. You're gonna run out of room. Um, So it's definitely the internet here. Are we back? Um, I saw in chat while I was while I was waiting to be reconnected. Hi. Um, I saw in chat that Carlito was asking about the differences uh, for tangling between hot press and cold press watercolor paper. If we're not going to use um, original tiles, then then the go-to for most people is to use hot press watercolor paper. The reason for that is that it's smoother for drawing on than cold press is. Now, if cold press doesn't bother you to ink on, I'd use it. I use it um, not a lot, but just frankly, because it's a lot cheaper than cold or hot press. But that said, there are are types of things, a media that you can use with cold press that you can't, or things that you can do with cold press that you just can't do with hot press. And so I really like that uh, idea. Okay, Cindy, it's time to stop. Are you guys still back with me? Let me turn this this way. Now I also had a bunch of pictures to show you guys of my easel, which are cool. All right, now let's see. Okay, do I want to stop now? I need to because there's not a lot more room and this side is getting really large. <laughs> yes. Now, um, I'm going to put in my fun little uh, poke leaf down here at the bottom like Molly did her poke root. So I'm going to cross behind here. And then Ara, this little stem. And I'm going to put my poke leaf on here. Yeah. And vellum is good for drawing on. I like vellum. Uh, that's what most of the the tiles like Straithmore, the cut tiles that Straithmore uses. I think I'm going to do this one this and leave that up here a little bit because I can and I want to. Vellum is a good drawing surface for tangling. Um, that said, whatever you have for tangling is good. Okay, don't not draw because you don't have something good to draw on. You know, some people I have seen in Facebook group, we had somebody with a cool idea where they used um, tags to put their tangles on and then and then connected them all uh, with a big um, ring, which was very cool. So you guys might uh, wanna check that out in group. Um, what I'm doing now is adding orbs and rounding and as I go, okay? There's also All right guys. Let 
Mm. Am I back? Keep going and hope for the best because that's all I got. I'm just going to keep going, guys, and hope for the best. Okay. Well, crap. Well, I don't know what to do, guys. This is frustrating. I'm just watching this this blurry image where it's trying to um, do whatever it's doing over there. I just don't know if I should keep going or not. Yes, keep going. We can watch the replay, yeah, but there won't, the replay will. Okay. Well, what I can do is I can try again if once the internet issue is cleared up again and see if that will uh, be a better choice for you guys. I'm really sorry. So, little inking, giving a little love to the spots. Knowing that I am going to be uploading that video for you guys tonight. So that this live stream experience will be a distant, ex a distant memory for you. <laughs> I love treating, treating organic things in this way around the edges. It just makes them so cool looking. Play music while watching. If I wouldn't get copyright strikes, I so would. Okay. Chat is working fine, so that's good. Of course, the picture quality sucks, but with the audio too. <laughs> no, not very zenful at all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy, for, for, for snapping me out of it. I appreciate you. All right, let's try this again. I will do my best to get the video up for this. I think that will be a much nicer experience. Of course, it's blurry in the drawing part, so. <laughs> wow, Cindy, it's just not your day, but it's gonna be okay, guys. Everything's fine. Cindy's not freaking out too much. I just hate when the days go this way. But we'll get through it. We'll get through it together.
This step is so important. In the Zentangle video, they called this giving it some love. I think I said that already. Now I'm repeating myself. <sighs> Nothing new there, is it? <laughs> I am sure you're right about the solar flares and those causing problems. I will be on the phone with my internet provider um, as soon as we get finished so I can find out exactly what's going on because I pay a lot for my internet so I need it to work. And it's cable. <laughs> I mean, I suppose they still use satellite stuff, don't they? So Simba sends an itchy and and very upset belly high to everyone today. He refused his food this morning, and I know he's sick because, um, yeah. A burst gland. Aw. I don't know what uh, is going on with Carlita's pups, but it doesn't sound good. Oh, hi, Roseanne. How are you? So, God's willing, whichever, next Tuesday we will do another Zoom meeting. This is not a class for those of you who are not familiar. This is just a, a get-together for, for the followers that are Zenders that want to hang out with each other. Uh, you can come, you can not come. It's entirely up to you. But I have really enjoyed the, the uh, two that we've done, or actually four that we've done so far, um, because it gave me a chance to look at all of y'all's art and gave y'all a chance to see what each other we're doing and we learned a lot about each other and I thought that was great now when I talk to you got some of you guys I can put your your picture with what you're saying in my head and that makes it nice all right so before my world falls down again um now I had I was going to use my um, my um, tinted graphite pencils, and then I had a request from somebody to go with pink. So um, what I think I'm going to do here, let me think this through. I definitely have a pink pencil, and uh, this uh, tinted graphite came with rose and muted mauve, which would also be nice on here, I think. So let's do a swatch and see real quick uh, what we're gonna end up with. Where is, yeah, you caught me unprepared. I blame Kimberly. <laughs> Just kidding, Kimberly, you're all right. I could use my chalk pastels, that might be a nice choice for pink. Um, one second, guys. Okay, I've got my pink luminance and my red. I think these are, this is scarlet and uh, some kind of a pink. If I could read it, I would tell you what it was. But I could also use my Oh, I know. This is pink, and then if I use the red matter, there's a. This is called red matter, 
<laughs> M-A-D-D-E-R. And it's basically a, a dark pinkish red. And so I think that's what I'll do. This one's for you, Kimberly. Because now I've got to rethink this color-wise. <laughs> um, so what I think I want to do is start with the regular pink. And um, I think I'm going to... Hmm, let me think about it. Oh, yeah, we were going to swatch this, weren't we? To see if it will work with Renaissance. Yeah, this is going to... That pink, that's a nice pink. And some red matter. Those are nice together. Okay. All right, so Valerie asked about shading. Here we go. Where's my pink? All right, so I am going to give these a little pinkish hint right in the middle of my elements right now on these poke root or poke leaves i'm just going to put a little blush of pink right here around that cap that we put on and i can add more later if i want so i'm putting my regular pink in the middle and i could do it from the from the base it doesn't matter the red matter will go right over or the pink the pink matter will go right over it. All right. And let's do this and see how it turns out. We've got the red, the red matter down here, or the pink matter. It's a cute name. I think I'm going to use this maybe up underneath the cap to sort of give the color intensity down at the bottom a better look. Put a little more pink on here. And my white charcoal, I'm going to go for this and see, see, look at the whole thing and see how this is going to work. Put a little white on the tip. Like this. All right. Perfect. Let's blend this and see what it looks like. <laughs> All right. Now, when you blend this, you're going to want to keep your darks where they are. And then blend your lights up into your highlight. Let's take a look and see how this looks. What do you guys think? How does this look? <laughs> Nancy says hers looks like a Christmas tree. Well, why not? <laughs> why not? So, Kimberly, good idea on the pink. I'm going for it. This is going to work great. I think uh, I'm going to do the red matter first and then and then do the pink. All right. So red at the base. I love knitting colors. I just get so much satisfaction out of this. I don't know if you guys feel this way about color. I know not everybody is into the color thing. I know it's an extra it's an extra set of uh, worries that you have to solve when you're when you're arting, if you will, 
if you will forgive me for that. But um, I, I get joy out of putting color down. I get joy out of mixing them together and um, all of that. And I enjoy it like crazy. So I hope you guys like this kind of thing. And we will take the tinted graphite. Well, I'm gonna still plan to use that around the edge maybe. This is definitely a completely different look than the other one, than the yellow and the tans. Be careful about scrubbing your hand over, over charcoal like I just did, or chalk pastels. And thank you, Lisa, Lisa Lachance, for knowing what the difference between chalk pastels and um, charcoal is. Because I did not know that. You taught me something yesterday. And I appreciate that. I love it when people drop knowledge on me. So keep it coming. Okay, is it vision is blurry or is it me? <laughs> is it you or is it me, Carlito? I think that is the question that people have been asking. I cannot wait with for our shirt design, Carlito. I am waiting. I saw that I went, well, we're just using that for our t-shirt design because it's awesome, and it is. And if you would like to take a better picture of that with, with, uh, with um, you know, better light, like take it outside and take a picture, I would love to look at that again. I just, for the t-shirt design, though, I'll need a really good picture of it. Oh, the pills from, dude. I've seen The Matrix like 400 times. I got you. We need to have a movie night, Nancy. Can we premiere a movie in our Facebook group? Is that possible? <laughs> we'll all get popcorn and, and watch something together. I mean, we could watch one of my videos, but that would just be boring. I have trouble sitting through them when I'm, when I'm editing anyway, so... <laughs> Zen bloopers. <laughs> I think you're right about that. I wonder what you have to do to get permission to, to um, stream a movie or something. Probably cost a lot more than I want to spend. Too bad, though. We'd have so much fun. Everybody owns some th something. Why can't we just watch what we have? Carlita says, color makes her think. So if she's tired, she wants to go with graphite and black. But if I'm sad, I use color. That's interesting. It's interesting. I watched them two times or more. Nancy says, not boring. Oh my God, I love you, woman. You're the best thing ever. And I don't even have to pay her to say that. Isn't that nice? Now, Nancy, uh, Nancy Pierce, I'm going to have to pay her. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. This is going to be so beautiful when we're finished. Thank you so much, Kimberly F., for the great idea with using pinks. because I think this is going to turn out terrific. This would also be cool in shades of green. I think I'm going to have to sharpen my pencil so I can do, do this. Give me just a second. Let me just get into my drawer here. Grab my pencil, or pencil sharpener. I suppose we could choose something that's on a streaming channel that we all have and watch it at the same time and just chat in Facebook. That would work. You're using purple, Valerie? I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're using purple? That'll work. Purple is great choice. I will never argue with that. All right. 
pencil sharpened, ready to go. It's really sharp. Okay, just putting some of this red. I'm just putting a little bit of this darker red color. Did I lose you guys again? I do. Uh, you're due for, for blues and, and turquoises, Christiana. We'll, we'll have to do that next. Well, this little guy over here is sad, isn't he? We're going to give him some color and make him feel better. Well, we are supposed to get bad weather all week. Like I said, it is tornado season, and um, the weather will come and go sometime in the in the same five minute period. Or go and come, just depends. And we might be fine one minute, and I might be going, yeah, I I'll, I gotta go get in the bathtub for a few. That's where we. That's where I hide. <laughs> When Mari's home, we go to the hall outside the bathroom because it's the only place we have no windows. We have we have windows in our bathroom. And so for tornadoes, for those of you who don't know, you want to get in a low in a low lying area away from all the windows and doors. And um, you know, if you've got a cast iron tub, get in it, pile blankets and pillows on top of your head and hope for the best. That's how we roll. <laughs> Might turn out Christiana is also a girl. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Okay, now I'm going to come in with my lighter pink color. And bring that up above the rose matter. Oops, I forgot to do the bottom of this one, didn't I? All right, I'll come back for it. Just going to smooth that on. And... Yeah, at least for now... Um, Ms. Oscara came back in and said she had left because of the problems, and I do apologize for that, but uh, hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. Do expect a live stream tomorrow. I will be here live with you, assuming that, that everything is working. Simba is in the house. Hi, Kathy. Don't worry. Uh, we had some issues with the live stream today, so it's probably better. Um, I don't know. It's 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 been a struggle today. My internet, I think, because we are having storms and someone in chat said solar flares today are disrupting a lot of internet servers. So um, we're just doing the best we can. The sun may have shifted positions enough for us to have better, better service. So we'll just see. 
I am hoping that we can get far enough that you guys can tell uh, where I'm going with this and um, so you'll be able to reproduce what you want. Remember, I've got a darker rosy red on the bottom and a lighter pink on the top. We're just looking for a blend between those. And then I'll top it off with my white charcoal pencil on the tips. These are so much fun to blend. I think this is gonna look great when we're done. Definitely different than the yellow and brown that I did on the example one. Got a bunch of stuff over here. All right. So kids are coming home from school. River. I still say that dog's a little bit crazy. is a CZT. Well, congratulations to Miss Sarah Harrison from Guernsey, from the Guernsey Islands. And uh, yeah, good job on that. So I guess she took the European, uh, the second European um, CZT seminar this week. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, Simba and River are in the house. Mari will be home in about 30 minutes. He is so excited about school being out. I'm going to have to find some, some anime uh, conferences or some Comic-Con stuff for him to do this summer because he is not sitting on his butt and watching TV all day. Of course, that means I'll have to get off my butt and do something. I've got to get a working wheelchair. The one I have is just sad. Angela is a CZT, Carlito. She um, was at the last CZT conference, um, I think, the last seminar, right, Angela? The last online one? Did I ever listen to the mom song? I so totally did. <laughs> I so totally did, Layla. And your poem was so beautiful. You have got just talent coming out of you all over the place, don't you? You guys getting all creative in there. You just keep going stuff. And I'm serious about you guys designing the shirts. This is something that I am struggling to find time for, and so if you guys come up with a good idea, I'm happy, happy to go for it. All right. I know the last time we had this many problems with the live stream was that same day they had the... Um, earthquake or something somewhere and they were and everybody was live streaming or they had mudslides or something anyway okay so i'm back with my rose matter and i'm just going to intensify some of this blushy color um, on the bottoms any place i feel like needs to be a little darker And I missed a few. Is Carlito leaving us? 
Bye, Carlito. We love you. Come back and see us soon. All right. This does look pretty good, doesn't it? I think once we put the white on, it's going to be crazy. Crazy cool. Oh, it would. It would. Combined with lace, this would be awesome. Okay, now let's brighten the tips. Oh, I forgot to. Well, I can blend. I can blend after I get my charcoal on. That'll work. Might work just as well. Oh, that's so pretty. That's going to be great. All right. Just little circles. A white Prismacolor would work really well. And I can't remember if we've had this discussion before or not, but you can, when you use these chalk pads in particular, you can come in with your white uh, Prismacolor and go up a sort of set. Mine does. So I heard that from, but it's a good idea. Did you guys lose me again? No, Alicia, this is a Renaissance tile. I need to use a box back here uh, sometime this week. I have intended to. This, will, this uh, technique will work equally as well on a box though. Now you may or may not want to put graphite on this. I haven't quite decided. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna get sort of a little further along and then I'll make that determination. A little graphite used uh, expeditiously here might work really well, but I always hate that because then I have uh, grayed out some of my color and I'm all about the color, so. Uh-oh. All right, I gotta plug my tablet in or we're gonna die right here, die, I say die. There we go. There we go, much nicer. The Matrix, looking for a movie to watch with my kiddo tomorrow night. It's not gonna be The Matrix. He's a little young for that still. Something good, we need something good. Pot pies. Dude, I wanna to come to your house. That sounds delicious. Chicken pot pie, that's the best. Chicken pot, chicken pot, chicken pot pie. Sorry. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I have seen too many comedies in my life. Almost everything that comes out of my mouth, I've, I've heard somewhere before on a comedy. <laughs> All right. Carlito in chat is saying that that uh, she almost stopped on the street yesterday and picked up a, a lovely looking box, but um, decided not to because she was afraid somebody might be watching her. <laughs> hey, just tell them you're going to recycle it with gorgeous art. Nothing wrong with that. Most people should think that's a good idea. Not today, um, which is probably good since my internet sucks today, but uh, next week. 
We will do a Zoom meeting next week. Can't wait to see all of you guys. And hopefully we'll have some new ones. Carlito, a.k.a. Carla. I would love to see you there, honey. I know that we've taken a large step forward, though, because she got on Facebook, so. <laughs> and isn't it nice that she did? Now we can have a cool design for our t-shirts. Zender shirt. This is just gorgeous. It is really turning out nicely with the white. I know, Valerie, you need to come. We are so much fun. Christiana has come. Maybe Gael will come with you. I could ask Juliet Fliesinger to come and be our interpreter. She is such an awesome lady. Whoop. It's flying. She was interpreting for our French contingent at my, um, at my um, CZT training. She is so lovely. We had so much fun. All right, let's see where we're at here. You know, right now I'm thinking this does not need any graphite. But what it does need, well, it does need a little bit of graphite. Let me show you where it does, okay? Hi, Aisha. Okay, so a tiny bit of graphite. We want to put that in places like this, where we have drawn behind. Can you see this even? Yeah. So a little bit here. Mainly along this center area where we've got this overlapping business going on. And then just check around. If you've got some big orbs, you might want to put some color on those because we're gonna come in here in just a second with the jelly roll, but you really don't need one, need it if your orb isn't isn't decent size. So you won't be able to see it. Wonderful. Oh, that reminds me. Um I got an email that, several emails from Shauna Davis about the pattern that we did, she called Cor Cor Corutia. And um, the Gordon Walters, uh, the farmer told her at Tangle Patterns, Linda Farmer told her that we couldn't publish it because uh, it was copywritten by Gordon Walters, the artist that, that, that uh, she was inspired by. And so I want to look into that because I'm not sure I'm not sure a pattern can be copywritten. Therefore, how is he? I mean, we're not reproducing his art exactly. We're just reproducing the pattern. So I'm not sure, but I need to look into that and read the rest of the emails that she sent me and see if that's true. I may have to take down my video. Um, and I certainly don't, um, don't want to do that if I can avoid it. 
So now I'm going through with the graphite pencil and just um, hitting any places like here where I've got some overlapping and might need just a little bit of color to differentiate the layers. And I don't want much, just a tiny bit. <laughs> uh, Barbara said she hadn't gotten to do that one yet, and she might better go and look at it before I took it down. Well, I want to either um, talk to Linda about this or um, look it up or something. Uh-oh. I don't think Brother's home yet. River. Hey, little bitch. River. Hey, bitty girl. <laughs> River. River. Hey. I am trying to do a live stream and you are ruining it for me, bud. Whatever, shut up, River. Simba, you're not helping me, bud. Not even a little bit. Yeah, crazy. Um, it's the one we did last week called Coratia. It was day 99, I want to say, of the 100 Days Project. And, um, hey, you kids, get off my lawn. That's right. That is right. So I guess the question is, um, is the pattern something that the artist can copyright? And I did not think patterns were copyrightable. Now, designs can be designs using a pattern, but I don't know. So I'm going to have to look into that. I definitely don't want anybody yelling at me. I just, too few hours in the day for, for hatefulness. That's what I say. All right. I think I, well, maybe I got most of my spots. I'll, I'll still find them as I go. Hmm. Any place else? Spots for blending. All right. Wow. I really like this a lot. What do you guys think? So. 
<laughs> Isn't that interesting, Kim? Um, so, uh, yeah, so I've got to find out more about that. And it, so it surprised me that Linda said that. Okay, so the question is, do I want to put this this uh, blue in on the side or do I want to leave it as is? Because I kind of love it the way it is, but I'm not sure if this wouldn't just do more to it. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? <laughs> All right. Okay. Leave as is. That's what everybody says. A bow. <laughs> I put white on one side. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. I'm going to have to think about that. Yeah, the this one is narrower. You're correct. So, yeah, I really like this the way it is, and I might do what you guys suggested and put a little white aura around some chalk pencil or some charcoal. But I think this is where we're gonna stop today since the kid's about to come home and it is nail day. Look at my messy nails, they've got to be done. So, all right guys, it is crazy, but I love it. I love it. I love how this turned out. Good idea on the pink. And we're gonna enjoy this and we're gonna get those uh, tinted graphite pencils out uh, the next time, okay? All right, guys, thank you for putting up with all of the problems we had today, and I will see that other video so that you guys are able to have both, okay? I am going to see you tomorrow, live stream tomorrow, so don't forget. All right, guys, much love from Oklahoma, and I'll see you then.